Hi, great people. How are you doing? This is Anthony Jorge Jenga from Business Debut. Today, we want to discuss something uh, interesting, cryptocurrency. Do you know that the value of cryptocurrency globally right now, that's assuming we don't have the ICOs, uh, let me not talk about ICOs, it's $1.7 trillion. That's the value of cryptocurrency in the coin market. If you go to the coin market cap, you will see that. And of course, it varies and there's a crazy variation. But where did this cryptocurrency start? Um, let me just give you a basic, uh, just basic history. Uh, cryptocurrency started in uh, in January third, two thousand and nine. A gentleman called Nato N N N Natoshi Nakamoto wrote a paper, what is called a, 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 a white paper, a, a white paper, and the paper was discussing on how you can have a currency globally that's not controlled by any government. And in two thousand and nine. Bitcoin was valued at zero dollars. Zero dollars. Now, fast forward. In, 2000, in 2021, Bitcoin is now currently valued at, guess what? $55,000. And so in Kenya shillings, uh, just for the sake of asking, it's about actually six million. One Bitcoin is six million. There is no other currency. Even gold is not valued as high as Bitcoin right now. Gold, silver, platinum, all those things. Those are the most valuable currency right now is uh, is uh, is Bitcoin. Now, what is the principle behind Bitcoin? I think the principle here is um, Bitcoin is not controlled by any government. It's it's uh, it's it's on a, what is called a blockchain technology. It's blockchain technology where anytime you send a Bitcoin to somebody, um, miners will will be able to mine that uh, uh, Bitcoin. And it's moved to one person. When it's moved to one person, if it moves to the next person, it only moves. So you can, when the, in the whole world, there'll only be 21 million bitcoins. And right now we say there are about 18 million uh, bitcoins. So there'll only be 21 million bitcoins. So that means even if whatever happens, people will not print more bitcoins. Now, let's look at how government works. For example, let's say now with the elections that happened in the U.S., uh, with Joe Biden now becoming president of the U.S., what is he going to do? He was going to, st to have a stimulus package in the U.S. What is he going to do? The central bank of the U.S. is going to print more money and give it to the public so that they can be able to stimulate the economy. Because of corona, what happened in corona and all those things, the, the American economy had, had gone to a slump. And it's basically the world economy. So they'll print more money so they can push it into the market so that people can borrow, people can, can trade, and hence uh, there'll be economic growth. Now, however, the problem here is when you're doing that, you're devaluing the currency because um, when there's more supply of money in the market, uh, the demand, the value of the, of, the, of, the, of the currency goes down. Now, what happened, like for example, in Uganda during the, the, the reign of Idi Amin, he did the same thing. He said he wanted money. He asked, he printed money. And before you know, the Ugandan currency to date has never recovered because uh, he printed so much money and nobody, uh, nobody managed him. Now, in, in cryptocurrency, there are always going to be 21 million Bitcoin based on the white paper that Na Na Natoshi Nakamoto wrote. There's not going to be any more Bitcoin. So it doesn't matter whether Trump becomes president, Biden becomes president, or, or the Japanese president becomes president. Nobody can move that blockchain. It's actually 21 million. Now, because of that, now when the economies, when the uh, American economy was having problems and, and the UK, the, uh, the European market, the the, the, the yeah, euro is having issues. People rent to, to save their money in Bitcoin because it's a, it's a safer place. And hence the value of Bitcoin has gone up. Now, what other currencies do you have in the market? So, so we usually say Bitcoin is the mother. Mother, it's the grandfather of all cryptocurrencies in the world. Yeah, because that's where it all started. But now, as things have evolved, technology has gone on. We have come up with the other coins. For example, we have Ethereum blockchain. What does Ethereum blockchain do? Uh, Ethereum blockchain is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a blockchain where other people can develop currencies on it. It is used by developers to develop uh, currencies on it. Right now, Ethereum is worth, uh, I think, in the market, about $1,400. And of course, it fluctuates. But the idea is that um, it's, uh, it's, that's where uh, people develop their own uh, currencies. Now, uh, what would you do as a business owner, or rather, what do you do as a as an investor? The two things you can do with cryptocurrency: you can you can buy Bitcoin as a um, as a place, a safe place to 
to save your money. Yeah, uh, you can buy uh, Ethereum. You can you can buy either things like Litecoin. All these are coins on the crypto market, and those coins you can trade. So one, you can use Bitcoin to save, so that you change you change dollars into Bitcoin. So you you keep it you save it in your save it in a, in in a, in a wallet, or you can also trade with it. You can buy things using Bitcoin or Ethereum. Now, what can you do with Ethereum? Ethereum is a platform, it's a blockchain platform. That platform, people, take, uh, take, um, what are they called? Um, developers are developing products on that platform and developing crazy products. For example, like uh, us um, in TMX, we are developing a coin called TMX Gold Coin. Now, what will that coin do? That coin will be used in the logistics space. We, what, what we envision, we envision is that um, in a few years, if you're moving a container from China into Kenya, you don't have to change the currency from TMX coin to dollars. We'll be using one coin called TMX coin to, to, to buy products from China or to pay for shipping. And so it will be used globally. We also have like um, an online shop called TMX Duka. Now on that TMX Duka, for example, we'll not need to use Kenya shillings, we'll not need to use dollars, all you have to do is to trade with TMX coin. So that's where technology is going. Uh, and then of course, uh, um, we have other, we have other stable currencies. So if you, if you want to look at uh, what is in the market, in the, if you just uh, go to Google and do coin market, you'll see all the coins, and there are more than 1,600 coins in the coin market. And there are very many exchanges. Now, where would you find coins? You'll find uh, uh, cryptocurrency or tokens. You'll find them what is called what is called an exchange. I know I'm going to lose a lot of you because this is all jargon. Uh, what exchange? There are, one of the biggest exchange you have in the world is called Binance. Binance is where you find most of the coins. And uh, but uh, remember, how do you make money with cryptocurrency? You can trade. Wait for the fluctuation because fluctuation of, of the currency is Bitcoin goes up and down. Uh, so you can you can trade with cryptocurrency. You can um, you can save with cryptocurrency. You can use it to, uh, as a means of of trade. Um, there are other people who are using cryptocurrency in what is called mining. You can become a, a miner or invest in mining. So the people like the way um, currencies are, are, are uh, currencies are printed. Money is printed by a factory. In cryptocurrency, the people who print coins are called miners. So you can invest in a miner where you put in money there, and whenever a miner makes money, you also get a, a share of that profit. So how do you trade in cryptocurrency? One, trade online uh, in the uh, crypto exchange like Binance. Uh, there's, uh, there's, there's so many uh, exchanges uh, globally. You can, uh, one, trade, save, have your own wallet and save your money, your crypto in a, in a wallet. You can buy stuff using uh, cryptocurrency. Like now, for example, if you look at uh, Amazon. Actually, Amazon are also now allowing people to trade with Bitcoin. You can, um, or you can mine, or you can become a miner. And of course, the, the other areas, like I'm seeing guys or people are doing that, they're using MLM. So it's also, it's also an MLM pro project in, in crypto where you, you, you refer somebody, you get a commission, and all that. So those are all ways of uh, trading in cryptocurrency. Now, what's my advice to you? Do not invest in any currency that you do not understand. If you want to invest in cryptocurrency, please take time to go into the internet, learn what is cryptocurrency, what is this whole thing called cryptocurrency, um, what, are, what, 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 are the, uh, what are the do's and don'ts. For example, cryptocurrency is extremely volatile. Yeah, and uh, so you need to, to look at, uh, to understand that bit. Then invest in projects. For example, let's say you can invest in a TMX coin. It's a project because it's a, it's a logistic project. So you can say, I want to invest in the project. So buy coins and invest in the project. Now you could say, I want to invest in, uh, in Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we say it's a, it's, it's a place of saving. Just save money in Bitcoin. So you're either investing in a project that you, 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 you like. So you buy currencies. And then if you want to exit, will exit in the coin market and there are various coin markets the other way you could do that is you could um, you could uh, you could you could you could you could invest in a new project and that's what you call ICO in initial coin offering somebody might come up with a new project and say you like this project so you, you buy you buy currencies in that project for example we are launching an ICO called TMX gold coin 
<clears throat> the purpose for that uh, coin is for logistics. So if you're interested in a logistic project and you think it's something you want to, to, to invest in the future, then you can buy coins in our logistic project, which will eventually, if you want to exit, you exit in the coin market. So those are various ways uh, of investing. The other new and exciting projects that are coming up, in fact, there is things like, um, like the banks. Uh, people are developing now products like uh, insurance products on, on blockchain where you don't need to even own um, uh, the insurance company is not managed by anybody. It's owned by, it's, uh, it's managed by technology. So where you buy a cover, you buy a cover, you pay the cover, you're given a cover. And if you're paying the cover in installments, it has a system of managing that installment. So, and a lot of things are happening. We have um, robotics that our guys are doing on, on, on cryptocurrency, on blockchain. So there's a lot of many, many projects. So if you're interested in a startup project, you can invest in the project because you're keen on the project. But if you just want to trade, you can trade in the uh, coin market, you can trade, um, you can become a miner. But my advice to you, and please listen to me, do not invest in a project you don't understand. Do not even invest in people if you don't understand cryptocurrency. First, take time to learn, then you can be able to start investing. But do not invest. Cryptocurrency is a very volatile market, but you can make money in it. People are making money. By the way, an interesting thing is like uh, Tesla, uh, Elon Musk has a coin called Dragon Coin. See, uh, Facebook have a coin called Libra Coin. Of course, it was it has been challenged. Amazon are coming up with a coin of their own. So, most technologies are moving into the crypto space. Yeah, and it's, it's we say this is the early early stage, but in a few years, probably things like dollars, euros, Kenya shillings will disappear and people will work with currencies that are dependable, that cannot be printed and cannot be managed by any government. So because people want to be independent of government. And remember, like, like for example, um, your data, Facebook, Amazon, uh, Facebook, Amazon, YouTube and all that have a lot of information. Now, in cryptocurrency, people want to come out of a place where they are controlled by anybody. They want to have information uh, that is decentralized and safe. Yeah. So, so I just wanted to advise you. So make sure that if you're investing in cryptocurrency, learn as much as you can. It's an interesting market. It's a, it's a, wild, it's a wild west, we could say that, because there's still so many things that people don't know. It's not regulated by any government. Nobody can regulate. In fact, nobody can sue Bitcoin. Nobody knows who na, 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 Natoshi Nakamoto is. You don't know whether it's a pseudonym. Nobody knows. Yeah. So nobody can, can reach him. But this year we know that uh, Bitcoin is managed. Um, Ethereum, of course, you know the owner of Ethereum. Um, but the thing is, Ethereum has evolved now. It has so many projects on it. Uh, so, but learn as much as you can about cryptocurrency before you invest, because you can you can lose out so much money in cryptocurrency, but you can also make money. You can make money in uh, in various projects. So you can make money in trading or ICO. ICO is initial coin offering projects that are coming up that have been listed in the coin market. So I know I've confused you, but it was necessary for you just to understand one or two things about cryptocurrency, because it's it's the next big thing. Once again, my name is Anthony Joroge Jenga from Wema TV. The voice of hope. Thank you and uh, God bless. Wema TV, the voice of hope.